Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Four disabled Medicaid recipients greeted lawmakers, lobbyists, and health care administrators with a sign Wednesday as they made their way to talk about Medicaid reform. Leave our services the way they are. Inside, a caseworker assisted Patrick Wells as he told state senators how Medicaid helps him stay out of a group home and living on his own. Do you need help to live there? Yes. You do. And does somebody come in every day and help you? Um, James? Lawmakers want to move Medicaid recipients into private managed care providers like HMOs to help cut the $20 billion cost to the state. Aaron Nagel runs a company helping disabled people find caregivers. He says the move would leave his customers without vital services. Are they really going to put through the care, the effort? Are they going to advocate for the individuals with disabilities? Or are they just going to pick up a phone and say, oh, well, we can provide this service or you can't have this? Besides privatizing parts of the entitlement program, lawmakers also want to cut down on rampant Medicaid fraud and protect doctors from malpractice lawsuits. Hey. Hey, Doc. Federally funded health care clinics like Bond Community Health Care Center in Tallahassee already enjoy protections from lawsuits. Dr. Temple Robinson, the center's medical director, says eliminating the threat of being sued lets doctors practice more freely. That? that way the physicians, providers here do not pay malpractice premiums uh, out of pocket. Whatever decisions are made by lawmakers will be met with criticism, but if the costs aren't lowered, economists say over the next decade the state will go broke trying to pay them. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.